sub YouTube, it's your boy Junior aka Semi and this is Semi 2 Tech, the greatest channel out there bringing you all the technology and everything we got to do, product reviews, how to videos, reaction stuff, you know everything you got to do with electronics and technology, I bring it to you on this channel. Alright, so before we get started with this video, if you haven't done so already, right here the subscribe button right here click on that and once you click on that you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with as well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms want to stay protected while streaming or downloading anything online or just protecting all your information my suggestion, go and get a VPN, and the best one out there right now is IP Vanish. I will leave a link in my description box so you can go ahead and sign up for this great IP service available now. Alright guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the support you guys showed me. And remember, just like I explained in the video, go ahead and like my video, share my video, and comment on all my videos. That helps me bring my channel up there and helps to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you don't miss out on any videos I bring to you from time to time. All right. So like I said, this is another great video. I'm bringing this video and it's showing you how, I mean how, step by step, how to create your own VR breakaway cable. What's a breakaway cable? Basically, is an ex is a, making your own extension for your Oculus Rift regular one, not the Rift S. The Rift S is another way to doing it. I'll create that video next in a couple of weeks or next week on how to do that one because I already created one for myself. It's very simple, not much to it, but this is strictly for the regular Oculus Rift, not the S, just the regular. This will extend your cable up. You go up to 15 feet depending on your PC. I went 15 feet, but the only problem I was having is the sound kept going out. So my recommendation is go to go to 10 foot. That's the best way to go. Honestly, guy, that's the best way to go. And with the Rift S, so since I mentioned it, the Rift S on you can only extend it to six feet max before you get start getting issues. But guys, that is a great way. It's a great way to go ahead and extend your cables. So it's basically, they call it a VR break, breakout cable. Just extending your length of the cable so you could stand further away from your PC if you don't want to sense too close. Just have more room space to do. It works great if you have a big room just for VR. It, that's really great for that. Let's get started with the video, guys. I don't want to keep you too much longer. Let's get started with the video and show you how to do this. So today, as you guys know from my last video, that I talked about the VR, I did the whole review, and I did talk about the breakaway cable, breakout cable to extend the wire of your VR headset. So today I got all my stuff here to make a breakout cable for your Oculus Rifts. It's very simple. You're gonna need four components. Just four. Well, you really only need three, but the fourth one is for cosmetics wise. So this is this is a mesh co a wire cover. This covers all your wires that you put it all. It's a mesh that you just stick the wires through and it just kind of makes it makes it cleaner. All right. So one thing you're gonna need is this USB male to female extender. I'm going with a 15 footer. So this is a 16.5, a 16.2 feet. It's five meters. So it's a 3.0 USB extender. Then I got this 15 foot. HDMI cable and then I got the repeater. I'm gonna explain everything. All right. Most computers will only be able to use a 10 footer. If your computer is in good, has a good graphics card and it's very well built, it's a well built computer, then you can go with the 15. So I'm doing a 15 because I know my computer can handle it. So for you guys, it might a 10 footer might only work for you. All right, so. It's the same instructions that you would do with a 10 foot, but this is a 15 foot tutorial, but it's the same thing. Same steps, same everything, just gotta get everything for, just gotta replace these three things right here, the HDMI, USB, and the cover to a 15 foot. Simple, not much difference. I mean to a 10 foot, sorry. All right, so before we get started with this, I did wanna let you go 
you have to use certain components for it to work. Certain HDMI, certain USB, I know certain things you have to, because uh, I ran into this problem and it was dissatisfying, the, the little the nest. Because uh, I said, oh, I'm just gonna get the HDMI male to female extender and then get a female male extender USB and work it, perfect. I did get the stuff, plugged it in, the computer detected, I'm like, oh, ready to go. But when I put the headset on, I saw nothing but black screen, nothing worked. Like, it was the computer detected it, but it wouldn't display anything. And the reason for that is because it, it needs to be a certain wire. And the only one that I was able to find out actually works is this one from Momo Price, you, um, HDMI cable, which I'm gonna open right here. which is right here. This is the only one that I've seen that worked. I mean, there might be other ones out there, but I tried all those eBay ones, uh, Amazon ones to work. But then when I did some research, they said the best cable to use is this Momo price one. The, and it tells you which one is the source and which one's the display. So let me open this up here. So guys, I will leave a link to all the stuff below the Amazon account where you can get it. It's the right ones. If you want to do more research and get other cables, it's up to you. But as you can see, this one shows display. You won't be able to see it on the screen. It shows display here, and this one shows source. So, obvious, you want the source going to, this end will go to your computer. This is the display. Of course, you need to go to the display into your headset. So this goes to the display. All right. USB, I don't think it makes a big difference. I, just me personally, doesn't, I don't think it does. So, I went ahead and just got this Cable Matter 1, a 3.0 USB connector, because it does give you specs on here that it's a little bit better and it's faster. And it's well built. And before you, Guys going with the question saying, oh, but why are you going with a USB 3.0 when Octalix only re requires a 2.0? Listen, it's always better to go above and beyond than not something that only requires. On my computer right now, sometimes the cable tells me it needs to be plugged into a 3.0. So I just went with a 3.0 just to make, it's just when new technology comes out, they update, they might make it to a 3.0. So. Just go with a 3.0, just my personal opinion. All right, and of course I got this cable cover. Yes, I could just take this and then just put a heat sink cover on here and just heat sink it, but that doesn't work as good sometimes. It's a little bit messy, it takes time. This one's just easier to use. Let me open this one up. I can get this apart. <laughs> All right, there we go. This one's easier because all you have to do is open it up here. Go in here and go in and then just open it up, stretch it out and then just stick the wire in it. And as you go through it and you put it back, it shrinks back to small. So it'll keep everything um, tight for you. That didn't come out right, but damn, see, I even got my finger stuck in there. But as you can see, that is the whole thing right there. We're all set to go. All right, and another thing I said that you would need is this right here, is the HDMI repeater. Because the signal is sometimes not strong enough, sometimes you'll run into an issue that you're not getting a signal, and sometimes you do. It's because the signal is so long from the HDMI, it's a, I'm going with a 15 footer. Of course, the same thing happens with a 10 footer. The signal is so long that sometimes it loses strength. So what a repeater does, but basically it boosts the signal so you get you get the signal into your into your device. So how you want to do this, we're gonna open it up. Right, put that here. Alright, so and this one, the, this is the repeater for, and it's a, it's called the HDMI 4K 2K repeater. Alright. Again, I'll leave the links in the description so you can guys go ahead and get this. The exact same one, all right? So this one, it tells you which is the input and output. You wanna stick this part on the 
source one. I mean the output, I'm sorry, this, the display port. This one over here. Reason why, because these are two females. So you need, I mean, these are two males, sorry. You wanna put it on the male side. I mean, on the uh, display side, because you need to convert this male into a female. Only it was that easy for people that would want to sex change, right? <laughs> All right, so, so this is the display. So what are you gonna put on this side from the repeater? I guess I gotta think about it. That's right. We're gonna put the input side on here because, of course, the output is gonna be for the for the headset. So when you plug it in, that's an outsource. You think it's going out into your headset. So that's an easy way to remember. That's how I remember. All right. So we're gonna put that in there. And just see, it's there tight, so that's good. All right. And then what you wanna do is open up your your um, USB USB here put it into the side, it's a little messy and this is another like I said another set here alright sometimes these wires are annoying but they keep all your stuff intact, so I can't complain. All right, all right, guys. So here you go. So we gotta get this all taken out. So basically, what you want to do is is put these here, and then you want to tie this down together. I would recommend um, zip ties, just because it's. I think it'd be better. That's just my personal opinion. Because it'll be tighter. And make sure the connections are going to both same way. You want to test your optical and rift plugs and see if it matches up perfectly and then put it all through. So let me go ahead and get this all put there. Also, another quick tip. When you're putting this together, put it together. You're gonna be running these wires inside this cable management a good only if you want a good thing to do is every let's say I want to do every foot and a half two feet you want to put a piece of electrical tape just so the wires don't keep turning twisting like this you see how it's twisting isn't it? and it's gonna it's gonna take the cable and shorten it down for you it's gonna create issues so so you, so you can keep the wires in place my suggestion up to you if you want to do it is put a piece of tape every foot, I would say every foot, so since there's a 15, I'm gonna put 15 pieces, or you can do it every two feet, it's whatever you prefer to do, just to keep the wires all together, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna speed it up, I'm not gonna make you guys wait the whole time as I'm putting it all together, I'm gonna speed it up for you guys here, and then I'm gonna put it all together like this, okay? So let's, let's put this wire together. All right, so we're gonna go and grab the, I have a pair of scissors here and the electrical tape. I'm gonna put this together here. I'm gonna just make, make sure it's even here. I'm gonna put, put some piece of tape around that just to make it secure so I can mess with it around. I'm gonna make this better as soon as I'm done with the cable managing. All right, so now let's go ahead and secure the wires thoroughly.
right guys so as you saw i taped all the things together as you see i told you this was a 16 foot cable but you want this separate because you don't you never know how far is your hdmi outsource on your pc and your usb so gives you some play room to play with you know so now we've got all this connected here as you see i got it all here this i'll wait to last to do it as you saw, I did put a piece of tape here just to keep it together until I ran the whole thing through. So now what we want to do is take this part in and go ahead and measure out your thing. If you, if you didn't get a, uh, a correct size one, you want to measure it out. Let's say if you got, you got, you bought a 30 foot or 40 foot, whatever case may be, you just want to figure it out. How long did you get it for? I think this one's a 15 footer. You just want to measure it out just to make it easier for you guys. See? See how much more space I have? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it this keep it a little bit longer. So now I have the correct size. I have this extra stuff here. I can use it for any other cable for later for anything else. All right, now we're gonna run this cable through the, the mesh. I'm not gonna do it from this side because of course you see this one's so much bigger. So we wanna use the other side, which is a lot smaller. So I can find it. And then I'm just gonna open it up and run the cable through. Now, the, like you saw, just to tape it up, it's a, it, it, this, this process is very easy to do, but it's just time consuming. So. I'm gonna speed this part up again too, so you guys don't have to deal with me, watching me put the cable through. It might take me about 10 minutes, because it, it is a little bit tough to do it. To do it, So we're gonna go ahead and just speed it up now, and you guys can watch as I'm doing it. So now we're back, and as you can see, I ran the cable through the, the mesh. You saw me do it. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna tape it on the end here, so this part right here doesn't stretch out. So I'm just gonna take the ends on each side, just to make a cleaner look, you know, just to make a real nice look here. So just to secure a little bit more, just so. If you ever need to, if it ever tries to come apart, at least you have it secure on your end. So just secure it there. And then go ahead and don't cut the cable, just get the tape. Okay. Boom. So you're all good here. This is all the way at the end. And here, like I said, you can zip tie this part. I recommend it just to so keep it all intact in one place or just what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it all around 
big reason why, because remember, these are made out of plastic. So if they fall or anything and it hit a metal object, it might break and then you have to, you're stuck on replacing the whole thing. So I'm just gonna take the whole thing around all the way to here, to the end, just to give you a clean look and also give that extra cushion of protection, you know? All right. Over here at the end, as you see, it's all spread apart here. What you wanna do is you wanna tape it as far as you can, just like I did the, on the other end. As close as you can. Just, just tape it on. You can either tape it with the whole thing on there already, but I'm just I'm gonna I'm not gonna tape the whole thing because I, I don't want the cables to be taped. I'm just gonna tape the mesh part itself. And just cut it off. Alright. And these little strands right here, I'm just gonna cut as much as I can off just to make a clean look, like I said. And you see, I have some pulling out. It's like getting a haircut. <laughs> You want to take as much as you can out. And at this point, after you get as much as you out, you can go ahead and, if you want, tape it all the way onto the wire. That's up to you if you want to do that, which I'm going to do myself right now so that I just thought about it. It looks, I'll just give it a cleaner look if I do it that way. See, so I took as much as I want, as much, it makes a mess. Out, and now I'm just going to tape it at the end. I'm gonna tape the end just so it can look really clean, get that extra clean look. All right, just give it a little bit of extra clean look. See, now it looks really clean, and you still have to thin enough space to put it on your HDMI and a USB. And then we'll put back on the other end and do the same thing with this. Just give it a clean look and get that extra protection, guys. And just a mess here. And that's how you make your break breakout cable for your VR optical rift or any other device that you use for VR. It could be your HD, your H Vive, or it could be any other devices you use. There you go guys, very simple. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It was an easy one, just time, it takes time. It's very, as you saw, it's very easy to do. Can't complain about it, works awesome, and easy to do. The only thing is you have to make time for yourself to, to make the cable. And I'll leave a link below if you don't wanna go through the whole process and buy the cable yourself, already pre-made. There's the person that says it, um, VR Pro, something like that. I'll put the website in the bottom where you can buy it, but you're gonna spend $170. Mine costs $42 even. That's with taxes and everything shipped from Amazon. That, oh, that, that's not including the mesh part. The mesh part was another $8. So let's say $50, you make a 15 foot cable, a little bit less if you go with the 10 footer, all right? Compared to when you buy the already pre-made ones, that's gonna cost you about 170, 160, depending who you buy it from. The person I'm gonna put the link below, he sells it for 175. All right, uh, you can buy it from there. That's up to you. But this is also a great way to make money on the side if you want to. You know, you, you could you could undercut that person and sell the cables for 100 dollars to somebody. Cost you 50 bucks to make, sell it for 100 dollars. You know, so you're making some kind of profit there, guys. Yeah, I'm not only showing you how to save money, I also show you how to make money. All right, guys, 
thank you so much for watching i do appreciate you guys watching the video hopefully you did learn something from the video and now you're gonna go off and make your own cable if you did like the video go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up if you didn't like the video tell me in this comment box below what you didn't like and i'll try to improve on the next time but also don't guys don't forget to share this video so everybody's aware of this great great how-to video tutorial how to create video um, uh, extend the cable for your octave riffs and also like, like i mentioned earlier you, if you didn't like the video leave a comment below or leave a comment regardless for anything else you want to say thank you for showing me show me love in the comments guys simple as that and if you haven't done so already and i'm pretty sure you should have done it by now is hit that subscribe button and enable bell notifications all right those are the free easy way to support your channel for free not much to it. it takes you 30 seconds to do like share comment subscribe and enable bell notifications It'll take you less than 30 seconds because to do all those five steps and if you did want to support the channel just a little bit more you are more than welcome to leave a donation to the channel i have those cash up and and paypal links listed down below in the description box and you can check those out guys and i think i talked enough today and until next time guys this is junior aka semi Signing out from Semi 2 Tech. Peace.